This is Jun. And this is Annie. Welcome, Welcome to Jun in Annie's TV. For today's video tutorial, ituturo ko sa inyo ang paggamit ng Morph Transition sa PowerPoint presentation. So to start, open a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. Let's begin using shapes. So mag-insert tayo ng tatlong shapes. Alright, so we have square, triangle, and circle. So you may choose the color you like. Then duplicate the slide and make a bigger size of the first shape. You may change its color, so depende sa gusto mo. Click Morph sa Transition. Now, let's try the transition of this shape. Alright, so repeat the process. Then, duplicate slide number 1. Then, pag na-duplicate na, click Square. Then, click Shape Format. Then, Send Back. Click the triangle, click Shape Format, then click Bring Forward. Duplicate the slide and make a bigger triangle. So, ito rin yung gagawin natin doon sa pang last na shape. You may or may not change its color. So, depende na sa'yo. Siyempre, click Transition, then click Morph. So, ayan, nakikita na natin ang movement ng shapes. Okay, so do the same process for the last shape. Yung dalawang unang shapes, so dapat nakasend back sila, and then yung last shape nakabring forward. Now, let us have a slideshow para makita natin yung movements ng mga shapes. Okay, so tapos na tayo sa shapes. Now, let us try using letters in boxes. So, meron tayo dito ang four boxes. So, in each box, so meron tayong type na letter. So, we have the word bias. So, i-alternate natin yung pahalagay ng mga boxes para may art. Then, i-duplicate ang slide. Then, you may change the color. Then, i-align sa banda baba. Then, pag okay na, click Morph Transition. So, makikita natin ang movements ng boxes. From alternate, so, magiging one line na lang siya sa baba and then mag-change ng color. Next, let us try Morph Transition for Pictures. So, I have here four pictures. So, ito yung pictures ng four types of stages. So, to start, duplicate the slide. Palakihin yung unang image or picture. Pag okay na, click Morph Transition. So, makikita nyo yung transition niya from small to a bigger size ng image. Next, i-duplicate uli ang slide. Click Format Shape. Then, Send Back. 
yung sunod na picture dapat nakabring forward siya. So yung picture lamang na pagagalawin natin ang nakabring forward. So the rest of the picture should be nakasend to back. I-duplicate ang slide, then palakihin natin yung sunod na picture. So ulitin ang proseso sa mga susunod pang mga pictures. So ayan, nakikita nyo na po ang movement ng pictures from a small to a bigger size. So next, let us have a slideshow. So mas magiging maganda talaga ang presentations nyo gamit ang morph. So abangan sa susunod kong tutorials kung paano naman gamitin ang morph sa letters and words. Mag-subscribe na at i-click ang bell button para updated kayo sa aming mga tutorials.